Welcome! You all ready? It's going down. Ladies! Is she the new? Is she the truth? Or is it false? Our lashes lip gloss. How much did that cost? Ain't no BS boss. Left being employed, she got a show. Floss, dentistry, officer in the streets, local or industry, Ghana or Italy, Bishop or Kennedy, her drive infinity. You feeling me? He should act. Q45 Ninja, it's finna be. On like a double OTD in front of your PC. We running your TVs, pouring up weed. Akeisha Lockhart here for She's Got a Show, and I'm sitting next to my celebrity bestie, Lil Mo. How are you feeling? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm good. I'm excellent. I'm sitting next to you. So I just want to give you guys a little bit of a backstory, right? So I met Lil Mo yesterday. Well, actually the day before. We're here in Chicago at the Black Women's Expo. She's here promoting her book, which you all need to go out and get and check her out on R&B Divas LA. So anywho, a little story. So I told Lil Mo this. I was talking to my real life best friend on the phone. and I was like, man, if I could have a celebrity best friend, I would want it to be Lil Mo because I'm a big fan of R&B Divas. And when I see you, you're just like, you're so real. And I feel like you would be the kind of best friend that would be like, you have lettuce in your teeth, but you would be able to tell me and like make me laugh, but you let me know. Yeah. So I want to know, Lil Mo, have you always been so very up forward and like, and, and direct and just like you are now? Have you been like this forever or did this take time to develop? No, I've been like this forever, but I'm only like this for people that I actually care about. Yeah, because there's a lot of people, I'm, like, I'm just going to sit up there and let them sit up, walk around with that tissue on the bottom of their shoe. Because they're they going to think I'm trying it or I'm being shady. But then there's some people, I'll be like, girl, fix your slip. Girl, fix your bra. I see all your mess. <laughs> No, nah, but I've always just, that's how my family is, that's just how we are, we're comedic, it's, it's all in love also, we're all comedic, we're just outgoing, and we're introverted, so this is actually uh, me coming out of my shell, so a lot of times when you see me turn, it's because like that's my defect, defense mechanism, because I'm actually shy in real life. Yeah, you talked about that, and I think you also go into some of that in your book. Yeah. Talk about taming Lil Mo, and is it possible to tame you? I'm still trying to figure out if I can be tamed, if the alter ego that I've created can it be tamed. To this day, I'm not, but you know, maybe when I'm 75 years old and you know, it, sitting up in my hover round, maybe, <laughs> maybe I will be tamed. But I ain't slowing down or stopping no time soon. But um, yeah, I do. Matter of fact, I just want everybody to get the book because I talk about so many things, like everything from shoot from being shy to being ashamed to like basically this is my book me telling all the reason why i am the way i am you know a lot of people might not well a lot of people remember my music but they haven't really known my personality unless you either knew me heard me already or saw my interviews from a while ago but then once i started doing r&b divas la that tv audience and the demographic that we're after they might not know a little more so they might be oh my god that girl is just how is she a diva how is she this how is she that be like no because my fan base they rock with me they knew me from the blue braids the pink braids the tattoos the gold teeth the fabulous the jay-z's the ja rules and missy Elliott's. so the fact that i'm using this platform not only with the book the album and the tv show to re-emerge as you know as the artist the superwoman it's just like child i want the people you take it or leave it baby it's not no nah, i think i might no you can't just halfway with me you got to be all the way or none at all i love that make sure you all get her book i i want to know when you're on shameless plug Hello. when you're on a reality tv show i can only imagine at least the first season at, when you would watch the episodes back would you be like picking yourself apart like i did not know i said that i don't know i didn't know i sounded like that i didn't know i looked like that did you really pick yourself apart how hard is it for you to watch yourself on reality tv i be laughing at myself i'm like why did i say that why did i do that with the because so much gets edited out when you actually see it you just like wait a minute they should have got when i had said this first because then when people see me say this they're gonna think i started it or they're gonna think i'm just turning and i'm like no sure but because we film literally six days a week, sometimes shoot, sometimes we start early in the morning to late at night because some people just have no respect for call times. And I'm one of the people that show up, oh my God, be on, sometimes I beat the, the crew there. They be like, well, you could go walk around and something. We got a little bit of time. I'm like, well, I know we got a couple of hours because I know people are going to be late. 
You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I, it's, half the stuff that I say and do is just a reaction from what I was going through at that moment. And sometimes people get the scorpions thing, sometimes people get the love. It just depends on what you, what I'm feeling like that day. Okay, so tell us about what we can expect from you coming up. So we're getting ready to finish season three. Yeah. So what do you already know? Is it a guaranteed season four? Do you have some other projects that you could break for All I Need Is One Mic? She's got a show? I'm not sure if there'll be a season four. That, that's really up to production. We're done filming. We filmed the reunion. So for the next five weeks, besides the three weeks episodes that's left, eight, nine, and ten, if you ain't seen it, you got to catch up because this is really where now we had the build up because everybody, why is this person on the show? I don't understand. We had the build up. Now it's time to bring it on home. And then we have the two part reunion, which, oh my God, yo, that Wendy Williams do not play. That's all I got to oh, say I is I love that she asks the questions that people want to know the answers to and she be wanting to know too. And I just love the way she keeps it real. She's unbiased and she just shoot from the hip and that's what we know and love about her so it's just like I have a lot of things that I'm working on mainly because I put the book out while we um we're filming season three I really am hitting the road and you know if you want people to buy your product you got to be out there smiling pregnant drinking water eating Snickers you just got to be out there hitting the streets I'm a grind I'm a hustler so I'm just gonna push this my album finish out the rest of the um season and if they do a season four cool if not Trust me, I'm gonna be. I'm still gonna be on the TV screen. Matter of fact, as we talking right now, the um, movie that I shot is on BET. It's called Who Can I Run To? It's with myself, Marvin Sapp, Jessica Reedy, um, Latasha Pace Lockhart. Everybody else is at the Stellas, but I'm in the shot. Yeah, you know I mean, it is what it is. And we love her for that. So you have a bundle. You're expecting. Yeah. We have a ba We have this will be baby eight because the well, your husband only yeah. because I'm saying your husband has for. Girl, you just dropping them like it's hot, and I'll be like, what? Well, so. All total, we'll have a combination of eight kids. So I'm about to start this contest. Do Because I think you carrying a boy. I'm like, I don't know until they put the grease on my stomach, put the camera there, let me know. So I don't know what carry. Oh, you carry a low. That means a boy. I'm like, well, I'm short, so I carry low anyway. So at the end of the day, I'm about to do this contest. Do you think it's a boy or a girl? Soon as I find out what it is. But my doctor tripping, talking about, I got to wait till I'm at 20 weeks. I'm like, girl. You know that, that all this expense, all this money, this insurance cost to find and have this baby, you better go up in there and tell me what it is. Let me know if it's a, a taco or a turtle. So you're actually going to be entering the contest yourself to find out. Yeah, so, cause yeah well, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out and then I'm going to like take a picture of my stomach. I'm going to take a picture. Like the way, I'm gonna, the way we're going to do is I'm going to have a picture of the, um, the sonogram. Yeah, but I'm not going to show what it is. It's probably just going to be a big old head. <laughs> Yo, babies be having big heads. I don't care what nobody say. If you say your baby got a small head, you lie. No, but um, we gonna we just gonna. I don't know what it is. This is my fifth pregnancy, and I'm like everybody acting like this is my first time. Like the excitement that's surrounded me. I'm like y'all got me hyped. Shoot, I'm excited. Shoot. Well, I just want to say congratulations. The the last thing I want to ask you is, I have a lot of people out there that tune in and watch my show. Very blessed to have that. And I want to know, could you give all the aspiring? Um, musicians out there a single piece of advice maybe something that you feel like at this point in your life if you would have known back then it would have helped you get a lot further or is there just anything kind of on your mind like that you could share with all the people out there that are aspiring to be in a position like you're in a lot what I can say is realize this is a business a lot of people don't take this serious they think that oh I do this I get paid I be rich and then they automatically think that they're Beyonce I'm just like yo it doesn't work like that you have to grind and then you have to handle your business when I first got in the industry which I do speak about in the book tame a little more I thought everybody was gonna be my friend I was like yo I'm a cool round the way girl everybody gone and I was like I learned the hard way that some people you got to keep business business and some people your friend your friend and you can't I don't care what nobody says you can't just be Beyonce overnight it does not happen like that and I'm just like yo and then once you get to that point to maintain it's all about it's not always about you it's about who you keep around you you can't if you got yes men around you just be prepared you gonna be on your ass but if you keep people around you that keep you focused and that tell you the truth then you'll then you'll sustain because I've been doing this professionally 17 years and I and I thank God to still be around and to still look like myself some people I'll be like so y'all just gonna let them just mutilate they self like some people look crazy they don't even look like how they did when they first came out I thank God for the fact that shoot I think I look better than when I first came out I was just like I matured I, I became I'm not even who I am supposed to be yet so I'm still you know going after that and there's a lot of people they just think they've arrived and I'm like no you haven't arrived yet boo because you know you just have to 
just just stay focused and handle your business. Even to this day, you got to handle your business or this industry will swallow you up, spit you out, and forget that you even existed. And not many more reality shows are coming out. So I honestly don't know the next way new artists or entertainers, musicians and stuff will get in. You just got to really grind. If you're not doing it yourself, nobody's going to hand it to you. Nobody's going to do it for you. Well, Lil Mo, I really appreciate your words, and I know they do, and I know you got a lot of stuff to do. You got people waiting that want to get you to sign their books, so I just yeah. want to say from the bottom of my heart, Bestie, I can call you that now. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. The best of luck with the baby and the family. We love you. We appreciate you. Keep doing your thing. For She's Got a Show, I'm Akeisha Lockhart. Who are you? I'm Lil Mo. I got a show. Hello. <laughs> Show. 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 Show.